friends and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome I'm so glad to have you my name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline you guys I called my mom yesterday and I told her I said mama you should have raised me better I said I went absolutely feral in Target <laughs> It's not even just stuff here. I got stuff in the kitchen as well. And just a little background, I've already filmed this video. Somehow all of my files got corrupted, but here we are again. Here we are again. I had put everything up after the video, so I had to go like grab a shopping bag and start shopping in my house to get everything back here again. As I'm sitting here giving you a little background, the keyboard warriors are already, they're warming up their, their phalanges, they're getting ready to like say like cat, we're not even past Halloween, we're not even past Thanksgiving, and you're already into Christmas. And to that, I have two responses. The first one being, it's my house, I pay the bills, and you weren't even invited anyway, Scrooge. And the second more important reason is the fact that Chip's family is actually flying in from Germany. So they're gonna be here for a little bit, and it's his parents' first time ever coming to the United States. So I wanna spend the memories of putting all the Christmas decor and everything up, and the tree and all of that with them while they're here. So y'all back up, <laughs> put your fingers away put your fingers away but also speaking of chips family coming into town from germany another thing that i've been doing a lot of besides working is brushing up on my german lessons on rosetta stone who i do want to go ahead and thank for sponsoring today's video so a few reasons i'm absolutely obsessed with rosetta stone is because they don't teach you a language just relying on translations but instead they teach you in an immersive and intuitive way so their immersion method allows you to see hear speak read and write only in the chosen language and they introduce new skills at the perfect pace and it gives you opportunities to practice keywords and phrases in multiple contexts and their system not only teaches you what to say but also how to say it and it enables you to pronounce words like a native speaker in no time because it gives you like a dial so as you're actually doing the lessons you can see how accurately you are at speaking the words Diese Junge ist aus Deutschland. and for me the Lifetime subscription is really where it's at because I have such a busy work schedule and my day-to-day -day life looks different every day. It also depends on where I'm flying or how much I'm flying. So having the lifetime subscription takes the pressure off that I have to like learn the language within a certain point or basically all of my money has gone to waste. It also allows me that whenever I go visit a new country, I can go into their catalog and see their other languages and maybe brush up and learn at least some basic context when visiting those countries. Countries. So if you guys have ever thought about using Rosetta Stone and learning a new language, now is your chance because I am lucky enough to be one of the very few creators that Rosetta Stone has gifted their audience 50% off, 50% off their lifetime subscription and that gives you access to all of their language library for life. So you guys are not going to want to miss out on that. So if you want to check the offer, head down to my description box below and see that link. Once again, thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and start at like the dollar section. We'll like work our way over kind of how you would at a normal target. I'm also going to try to tell you like the prices of everything. If I forget to, I'll like pop it up on the screen somewhere, but I'll let editing me deal with that, <laughs> deal with that later. But. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the only fall item that I really picked up that's like specifically for fall, but it was too beautiful, I had to get it because they look so much more expensive than they actually were and they were in their little dollar section and it's these glass pumpkins. Like, look how beautiful these are. Like, they definitely look more expensive than just a dollar. They did have a couple other colors. I think there was like two more colors. One of them was in this shape, and I don't remember the other one. Now, finally, into the Christmas stuff. This first thing I got is stunning. When it was $5, I was like, y'all. Now, there are three different kinds of this, but this one is definitely my favorite. Sorry, I gotta be careful with my wrist. My uh, rheumatologist told me to put, put the brace back on and to chill out. I was actually supposed to be flying this weekend, but here we are. <laughs> here we are being irresponsible and spending money. So I have this beautiful little cookie tin. And you can put like cookies, candy, whatever in there. And it's like a little gingerbread house. And this was just $5. And I just feel like this looks so expensive and so nice. Like I cannot wait to style this. I also love, I know I put it away, but I also just love all of the detailing. Hopefully it'll focus. Now the next thing that I grabbed out of the glassware, I guess I could have taken the wrappers off, were these beautiful Christmas trees. Now I got three different styles of them. So I got this one as well as this one. And then I also picked up 
this one and it just has like the most beautiful detailing on it. I just thought it was absolutely stunning. I think these will be like gorgeous in like some kind of like display or just kind of like placed around maybe in the living room. Now, originally when I bought these, I thought that like this unscrewed. So I thought it would be like the perfect thing to put like candies and stuff in them, but it actually does not I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's, it's like a little, um, holes. I think you can actually maybe put like tea lights in there. Probably not the real ones. I would put just like the, the light up ones and I'm sure that would be stunning as well. Another kind of glass tree I got were these beautiful light up glass trees and I just love this color. A lot of my house is decorated in greens and blues and neutrals. And I think blues and greens are like, it's like a color, but it still kind of extends itself to neutrals. Like when you think of like suits and stuff, you see like blue and I feel like green is just like that added little neutral. But anyways, so that's kind of my house. So I just thought like these green little Christmas trees were so stunning. I don't know if y'all see it cause we're in like pure daylight right now, but they light up and they're just so pretty. I thought these would also make a great display. They had like blues and reds and other ones. So if you want like a different color scheme, I think they had like an iridescent, like that like white with the iridescent thing on it as well. And then lastly, in the little Christmas trees, I picked up these adorable little wooden ones. I thought these were so cute. Another great idea with these is you can actually spray paint them. So if you want them in like a different color or you can like probably stain them. There's also a lot of decorative baskets. I didn't pick any of them up, but I tried to take some videos for you guys so y'all could see it. There's lots of like um, little um, statue, like nutcrackers. There's like teeny ones and then like also like a medium sized one. Now, another thing I picked up was this beautiful, little door hanger. I love these. I have a couple of them, but I might pick up two of these for the door. I like these more than the ones I have. I think the ones I have are from the Dollar Tree, I think. So this next thing I want to show you, I am obsessed and I'm telling y'all now, if you see them grab them, because this is another thing I don't think they're going to stay around. I really don't. I love to do like little gifts, especially I know people are on a budget this year. Budgets are tight. And I think this is the perfect little like DIY gift. And that is like these little cookie tents and they come in like two for five dollars and they each have their own little house so this one's like a gingerbread house then this one is a little sweet shop and they all have like different like roofs on them a warm and cozy cocoa cafe and then the skate shop and there's the little roof and then lastly i picked up this one and this one is santa's little toy shop and then also has the post office and there's the little roof. And I think these are just great to like home make some cookies and put them in there. And it's just like such a cute, nice, thoughtful idea. Now, besides just those tins, I also found these and I picked like two of each up because I'm just obsessed. I think these are absolutely adorable. And that's like these little origami gift boxes, but look, how cute it is. So the origami's into this and these were a dollar a piece. So quite the steal. This one is a little letters to Santa box. So it ends up looking like this. And then lastly is this one. So it has like a little car with like Christmas presents on it. And I just think these are so adorable. And I love the fact that they're just a dollar a piece. So I love to keep like little gift boxes and like wine bags and things like that. Cause you just, you never know when you're going to need them. Now my target had two different wine bags and they were both beautiful. So I got two of each and the first one looks like this and it has like this beautiful iridescent i don't know how well the camera is going to show it and then the other one looks like this and has that gold iridescent so i thought that was just absolutely adorable so before i share the next item with you i kind of want to give you all just like a little background story a little bit of my childhood and a hack that my dad used to do and i think it's absolutely genius i had no idea growing up that he did this i didn't realize until he told us whenever we were older but i think it's genius especially when you know you might be paying like bill to bill budgets might be tight and nobody ever should go broke during the holiday season so something my dad used to do is you know when we were a little bit tight on money is he would actually put empty gift bags under the tree or like empty boxes he would wrap them and put them under the tree and as me and my sister would be opening gifts he would slowly just kind of push them to the side so we wouldn't see them or like move them over so that way when we saw our christmas tree it looked like there were so many presents underneath the tree we thought we were getting so much stuff and then as you're like a kid and you're in that christmas spirit you're all in like the hoorah of everything so we didn't even notice that they were going away so you mentally just thought you had so much stuff so i just think it's a genius little thing so i I picked up these little treat bags and they are two for a dollar and I love the little pom-pom and they're so cute and then they just have like little 
um, snowflakes on the back. And then I also grabbed these. I think these are so stinking cute. And again, it was two for a dollar. And then this one was also two for a dollar. So it has a cute little sleigh ride. And then this one turns this way. And then I also picked up a few of the medium sized ones. So it has like the cutest little gingerbread. But what's actually cute about these are also the sides of the bag. So this one has stripes. Picked up this cute little one with like the iridescent like little Christmas tree and like the pale pink. There's quite a few things that I got that have like a little touches of pale pink, which I've never been like that person that's like really gone towards like those pinks and pastels for Christmas. But you know, they're super, super cute. So I have a few things that are kind of like that. And then this one has little snowflakes on the side. Lastly, I grabbed this adorable one and I don't know if you're gonna see it, but the snowflake is like glittery. And then on the side, it has like white little, uh, white and black little Christmas trees. So I thought that was so cute. I also grabbed um, some tissue paper so you can put tissue paper in at the top to kind of like fluff it out and fill it. That way you also can't even tell that it's empty. And then if you are gonna do the little present hack, just take the tissue paper out and like fold the bag up and like put it off. So while kids are opening gifts, just fold them up and put it away and they'll have no idea. But I grabbed two of this one so it has like the little snowflakes and the pink and the white and i thought this is going to be absolutely adorable you know with with some of these and these were a dollar a piece and all the bags i shared with you all the gift bags were were a dollar then i grabbed this one i just grabbed one pack of this so it has like the white and the red and like this kind of funky green and then I grabbed two of these and I love this one. I think it's so pretty, especially these colors together. Now in my family, I know the adults don't care. They love the gift bags and stuff, but I know kids also like to like unwrap the gifts and unwrap presents. So I picked up um, two wrapping papers. These were each a dollar. Now they are a little bit shorter, but I already know what I'm getting my nieces for Christmas. So I knew this was gonna be perfect. Now this next thing, I think this is gonna be another one that if you see it, pick it up. I think they're gonna go quickly in my opinion. And that is these gift boxes. This is another great thing to put under the tree. It makes it look fuller. It makes it look bigger. So this is the first one and it says like Merry Christmas on it. It has like the cutest little bow. And I also love the framing on this. I think it's so pretty. I grabbed two of each of them and you can also take the bow off and then put your own bow. So if you want to like switch it up, you could do that as well. If, it, if it'll help kind of like tie into like whatever color scheme or thing you've got going on. Then this is the second one. And again, it has like that pale pink and like the iridescent tree that you kind of seen on some of the other stuff. And then it has this cute little white bow. And then lastly is this um, just like a tan plain box and it has like the cutest little striped ribbon on it. I think this is so adorable. And if you want to reuse them as well, you can get like little gift tags. You can write and put like a little string through the bow and that way you can just take the gift tags off and you can completely keep reusing the boxes. And I think they're also great that if you want to put your Christmas decor away, like if you have stuff you wanna stow, you can like store them in here as well. Now also for a dollar, they have like these little um, fillers. So I grabbed some filler. I grabbed three of the, just the, the plain ones. I also grabbed two of the white and red. I think these will be like super cute in in um, this box where it has like the white and red bow. And then I think this one will be really cute and that Merry Christmas one and it's green and red. And then I also picked up one um, black one. This was actually part of their Halloween stuff. So they had like black, orange, I think. Is it purple or lime green? I don't know, but I wanted one black just in case. And then lastly, from the little dollar deal section, these were $3 a piece. The gift boxes were $5 a piece. I don't I don't know if I, if I told you guys that, but um, these were $3 a piece and they are gifting sacks. And these are great because you can reuse them as well. So this is the first one and it has like a cute little um, red jawstring on it. My mom even told me when I showed her these, she's like, you can actually make these into pillows as well, which I think is a super cute idea and then here is the next one again with that Christmas tree and the pale pink design it has like the little pale pink jawstring and then lastly I think this one's my favorite one it has like a little North Pole like mailing thing and then a little like sage green. Okay, so that is everything from the dollar deal section. If you guys are enjoying the video, if you wouldn't mind giving it a big old thumbs up and pressing that subscribe button, it's completely free to you guys and it helps me out a ton and this channel and I very, very, very much appreciate it. 
<laughs> okay, and we are back. So I am all reset. Now before I dive in, I'm gonna give you a little information and I'm hoping it'll help you out. I don't know if it means anything or if it doesn't, but I'm gonna give it to you anyways, just in the hopes that it'll it'll help somebody out. But um, something about me is I love Hearth and Hand. I love their stuff so much. A lot of my house is decorated in Hearth and Hand, but it's actually decorated in Hearth and Hand that I have gotten at like thrift and salvage stores because I'm a Target girly, but at a Walmart price. Like I love nothing more than to get a good deal. Something that I noticed is that my thrift stores weren't really carrying hearth and hand anymore and i was like where's it all going because like before i had like a plethora of hearth and hand stuff so i went to the target that's near me and i looked at their hearth and hand stuff and i'm in the boons i'm in the sticks i'm in the i'm in the country and the podunk so i went to that one and they had some stuff they have like a little bit here and there but nothing was on sale there was literally zero things that were discounted so i made a bit of a drive and i went to downtown which is a super target and i went to their hearth and hand section and when i tell you there was so much stuff that was 50 percent off five zero percent off like so much stuff and i was like wait a minute i've seen this stuff just at the other target and not a single item was discounted i don't know i don't know what to do with that information but i'm gonna give it to you anyways because maybe that's why like i'm not seeing it at my thrift stores anymore is because target itself is just selling it and it wasn't even in the clearance little things it was like amongst itself it was like all snuck in there so i i literally looked <laughs> I looked like a maniac <laughs> So a lot of the stuff I'm gonna share with you guys, I got on clearance for 50% off and I'll like kind of tell you original price versus like the clearance. Now I also did buy some stuff that was just regular price because I think a lot of their Christmas stuff you are gonna be getting at regular price, but I'm gonna share it all with you anyways because in case you're obsessed obsessed with hearth and hand the way I am, then it's just good to know. So do with that information what you will. Let's dive into the first thing. Um, the first thing that I picked up was some new bedding. Now this one I did pay full price and it is stunning. I love that sage green color. I actually have a bedding like this that's currently um, on the bed right now, but it's blue. And that one is the co a comforter set. Now this one is um, a duvet cover. So it comes with a duvet cover and two King Shams. I also picked up this um, bed sheet set from Threshold. So this is kind of what they look like together. Again, that gorgeous sage green. So this comes with one flat sheet, one fitted sheet and two King pillowcases. We also have this in blue. I don't necessarily love the color. It's a little too deep for what I was looking for, but it's, it's basically all they had. But one thing about the sheet set that I do love is that it has like a grip so it really like stays onto the mattress i love 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 my brooklyn and sheets i love them <laughs> i love them so much they're white i've shown them to you guys before that's actually what was just on my bed before i just changed them the only thing is that <laughs> it looked like chester the cheetah done died in my bed because of my self tanner so <laughs> it literally was like a little chester the cheeto outline up in my bed so they are quite annoying because they're like pure white and i love them in the springtime and stuff like that like i'll still be switching them out with my with my brooklyn and bedding but i will say i do like that this has a grip whereas my brooklyn and bedding doesn't so you gotta have like your own straps to keep the bedding on if you are like a crazy sleeper like uh, me and chip are moving on the next thing i picked up was this magnolia table book i love their coffee books so much I, i'm pretty sure i own every single one the pictures are gorgeous i just think they're absolutely stunning and i think this was the only one out of like their coffee style that i didn't have from them and I love the green color. When you style in this color, it will lean towards Christmassy regardless, just when you start putting other decor around, even though for me, it's gonna be year round. It's originally $40 and I got it for 28. I forgot to tell y'all, this bedding was $89.99 and the sheet set was free. I love, love, love their faux plants. I thought this one was gorgeous and I literally styled it just by like setting it on top. I just think it's so stunning. And to go along with that, I also picked up this one. Now I have a plant, I think it might actually be the same one that's styled in the bathroom. But for this one, I actually took it into my office and I have the I Love You planter from Hearth and Hand and I just plopped it on the, in there. This one was $19.99 and this one is $6.99 and both of those 
I did I did pay full price for, but I have thrifted um, faux plants from them before that were on clearance. Now, the next thing I picked up were some throw blankets. And you guys, I am obsessed with this one. I love it so much. It was the only one. I'm, I'm telling y'all, it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm gonna take this blanket and like go move it into the other room or maybe my bedroom and then put this one out here and then also style it alongside this pillow I got. This was also in their Christmas section as well. And I just think it's so stinking cute. I already took the tag off, so I'll have to like find the price online. And I'll also be um, linking everything I'm sharing with you down below. So anything I can grab links for, I'm gonna make it super easy. It will all be linked down below for you to shop. But this is the pillow and I'm gonna style it with this blanket. Now this blanket was $19.99 and I also picked up this Christmas blanket as well. And this is like more of like a tri-color. And also, can we just talk about the ribbon? I think their, their Christmassy ribbon is so stunning. It's like a nice, pretty plaid color as well as a uh, white and red. And I think these are also great if you're putting together like a gift basket. They did have another Christmassy one that was a white color, but that one was $29.99. And I think it's because it's a bigger blanket because they feel very similar. But I also picked up this one. I think this is just from like their regular set or like their fall set. And I got this one on clearance. It was originally $29.99 and I got it for $14.99. And it's so soft and it's so beautiful. I actually picked up two of these because I grabbed one for my mom as well because <laughs> not only was I rummaging through the entire thing, but I was also like FaceTiming my mom and be like, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? Because she needs to know how she raised me. She needs to know what she's created like the monster that she created like her frankenstein she needed to see that so anyways um, i picked up two the other ones in the other room but it's just so soft and it's gorgeous i love their throw blankets so stinking much now another thing i picked up were their candles i have said this before they make my favorite candles for sure they make my favorite scent and I have a ton of these all through my house. Some I burn, some I use as decoration. I think their candles are stunning. My favorite scent is Willow, which is what this one is. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's it's so good. And it's a very um, like neutral, like gender neutral smell. But it, honestly, it smells like luxury. It'll make your house feel expensive by also how your home smells. And for me, we have five dogs, so I gotta I gotta be on top of the smells. I wanna make sure that nobody comes into my home and be like, it smells like an animal shelter in here. I wanna have an animal shelter in here, but I don't want it to smell like an animal shelter in here. So I love these. So I picked it up in this one, but also they have these beautiful, copper packaging now i think it's so pretty the packaging just looks so luxurious and expensive it just looks so good it just says willow really small i already want to style this we just got our brand new coffee table in the other room so um i got some stuff to style the the new coffee table i'll show you that in a bit but again so good the room spray also fabulous. I love their room spray as well. I have it in, in the bathroom and I like to sometimes spray the sofa with it. This one was $19.99. Now, another thing I picked up on clearance were these candlesticks. Look how pretty they are. I love candlesticks. I told you guys that in this Amazon haul that I love candlesticks. I think it's something so easy, but they automatically like elevate your space. They automatically make a space look and feel more expensive. These were originally $12.99 and I got it for um, $6.49. Now they also had this same candlestick, but in like a, a shorter version as well that I think are originally priced at $9.99. So just keep that in mind, but I picked up two of those. I also grabbed this on clearance. I love the color, I love the shape. Now, original price is $7.99 and I picked it up for $3.99 and I just think it's so beautiful. You can also take some stems, like maybe some like berry, like mistletoe stems and like throw like a little stem in there as well. Oh, I missed one of the candles. I also picked up this candle on clearance. Now, I just think the shape is gorgeous. This one is in Harvest Spice also smells really good. I think these are so pretty. It kind of has like that coppery metal look to it. Now, original price for this was $4.99 and I got it for $7.49. Now, another thing I picked up in the beautiful green color were these decorative boxes. I think these are so cute. I did pay full price because I just, I needed them. The small one is $12.99. And the larger one is $16.99. I already know exactly where these are gonna go in my office to be styled. But also speaking of like that old 
um, retro -y vibe. I picked up this radio station. So it's a Bluetooth radio, very retro Christmas vibes. Like I, I definitely get like retro Coca-Cola Santa kind of vibes as well. I thought that was so cute. I believe that was $39.99. I'm hoping my stepdad doesn't watch my Target hauls. I don't think he will. So I think I think he won't see this, but um, I was telling my mom and she said, that's a great gift. It's like an outdoor thermometer. And this is $19.98 and I got it on clearance for $9.99. And I also grabbed these. So it comes with like a little um, set, a little case, carrying case. So they are grilling skewers and it includes four of them. And these are great if you um, are like roasting weenies or whatever you're doing. So I got him that as well, $24.99 and I got it for $12.49. Uh, and I'll probably try to find him something else, but he's really outdoorsy and stuff like that. So he, he loves all that stuff. Last year, I think we got him like a chainsaw. So we were like, hey, go practice on on some of these dead trees we needed, <laughs> we needed to remove. I also picked up some mugs because Chip and I are huge coffee drinkers. We also do love tea, but his family is also huge coffee drinkers as well. Like anytime that we go to Germany, we drink so much coffee just throughout the day. So we can never have too many mugs, especially when they're coming in. And I think Hearth and Hands mugs are so affordable. I think they're priced so tremendously well and the quality is outstanding. So I picked up two of these because Chip likes the larger style mug. So these are $3.99 a piece. This one also comes in like a whitish cream color as well if you like this style and they're just like really good sturdy mugs. I picked up this one and I love it so much. I think it's so pretty. I just love it. And this one was $4.99. And then the last one I got was actually more expensive. This one reminds me of Magnolia. So Magnolia is like their more expensive brand that like they have in Waco. And they have like this kind of impression. It's like a flower plant impressed into like a white thing. I, I don't even know how to, I don't even know what I'm describing. So this one is so gorgeous. I just love that so much. I think it's so pretty. I also love the shape of it as well well and this one was $6.99. Now this next item really has nothing to do with Christmas. It was more out of functionality because then our bathroom in the master bath they put like one rod but it only holds one towel. So the rest of the towels that we use we have to like drape over the bathtub. So I think we're gonna remove that rod and then put this up and it is this gorgeous like wall shelf. I think it's so pretty. I love like the gold detailing on it. And then that way like we can put our, our towels along the wall and it kind of sets out so they're not gonna be like directly on the wall. Now the next thing I picked up were some table runners. So I think table runners are so nice. They are such a nice way to like judge up a table. You can change them as the seasons go which I like to do. I know my mom likes to do it as well. So this one I think is stunning and she is heavy duty. She's so pretty. I love like the detailing on it. it kind of has like a little bit of like a burlapy kind of look to it, but it doesn't like, it doesn't feel like burlap. It feels like better than burlap. But I think this is another one that I think would be gorgeous during Christmas. If you put like a centerpiece of like berries and greenery and something or like candlesticks, I think this one would be stunning. Now this one was originally priced at $24.99 and I got it for $12.49. And then I also picked up this one, which I think is another beautiful one. Hopefully the camera picks up the color. It's like a light sage green. I think this is another beautiful one for the Christmas time also. That's really pretty, very transitional. You can use it fall Christmas. Now the last one I picked up was this one. And this one I feel like is so versatile. It's all about what you just place on the table as far as napkins, centerpieces, anything like that. I think it's so pretty. You can definitely use it for fall, Christmas, honestly any season. And like the little stripes on there are kind of like a dark gray color. And this one, same thing, was priced at $24.99. I got it for $12.49. And with this one, I'll just throw it right here. I also picked up some napkins. So I grabbed three of these. Um, so they are kind of like the napkins that match the set and they include four in each. And they're originally priced at $11.99 and I got them for $5.99. So there's beautiful napkins. I feel like some copper um, little napkin holders to put like the silverware and the little copper napkin holders I think will be really pretty on our table and then alongside to match this there's also some dish towels. Now these I paid original price so these were $9.99 and then also I picked up two of these kitchen towels. I want to say it was $3.99 um, so I picked up two of these as well. I think their kitchen towels are a great price and just to show you like these things are huge. 
they're so big so i think like these are another thing alongside the mugs that you know you're really getting your your bang for your buck there and then also i picked up some placemats now i have placemats from them before i love them so much i just think they're so beautiful and i'm i've always been one of those people that i'm very subtle in my decorating except christmas christmas is the one that i'm like let's go gaudy with it but any other holiday i like this the subtle things of that and I think a tablescape is, is a nice way to just kind of bring in those subtle tones of whatever the season is but I just think these are so versatile I can see these basically any season Christmas fall whatever and they're heavy duty like this is a good solid placemat like this one means business now some of the other ones I have from them are are softer a little bit lighter but th this one is like she's good she's like I am I am here uh, I picked up six of these there was only seven total I would have preferred eight but I, I got six and these were originally priced at $4.99 and I got them for $3.49 and I love these so much. So now let's go run over to the kitchen and I'm gonna show you the last bit of stuff over there because I think you guys are gonna love this so much, especially because the holidays is all about like cooking and food and eating and family and friends and well, all the things. So the first thing I picked up were some more of our plates. So these are actually already the plates that we have, but they were selling them as individuals. So they were originally priced at $5.99 and I got them for $2.99. We didn't have any of these, so I picked up some as well. And these were originally $4.99 per plate and I got them for $2.49. So there you can see a little bit of the the difference in size. They're not really showing does that help a little bit? And then I also picked up this bowl as well. So it's just like a little bowl to match the set. This is the only one I have, but maybe I'll grab a few more if I see more of them on sale. But it's originally $3.99 and I got it for $1.99. And I just think these are so useful for anything. But I also like to decorate with these as well. So I'm not even sure that I'll use it in the kitchen. I might just decorate with it. Now this is one of my favorite things from the entire haul. There was only one left and somebody had clearly put it back, but originally they were gonna take it. And it is a two tiered um, serving tray and I love it so much. So it was originally priced at $39.99 and I got it for $19.99 and I feel like this is perfect for the holidays. You can put like little cakes up here, little pastries. If you're doing sushi, like a sushi night, you can put sushi on there. You can also do like appetizers. And one of the things I love so much about it is this copper like detailing on it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then I saw this and it was the last one and it's like a little pie server. And I just think that's like perfect. It matches perfectly. It's so beautiful. Now this I did end up paying full price for and it was $7.99, but I love that so much. I really do think this is one of my absolute favorites. But also I can use this to go along with this pie dish, so like this baking dish, and I think this is so beautiful. Chip already started like ripping up the thing that they stick on there. It also matches with our plates over there, and so does this as well. And I got this on clearance, so it was originally $19.99, and I got it for $9.99, so I think this is gonna be perfect for the holiday time. Also, my mom I ended up picking this up. I didn't think I would use it enough, but I grabbed it for her, so I wanted to show it to you guys. But it's a pastry wheel, and this was also on clearance from $7.99 to $3.99. So super cute, especially, again, for the holiday season. I got this serving bowl set that I think is absolutely stunning. I love the detailing on the bottom. I think it's so pretty. Now, this is heavy duty. It's, it's definitely heavy, so I have to be careful with my wrist. I got one of these for me, and then my mom wanted one as well. And they were originally... $39.99, but I got them for $19.99. Once again, I will try to link everything down below in the description box in case there's anything that you guys want to check out. And then also, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a big old thumbs up and pressing that subscribe button, I would very much appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.